happening. So, there's something that I want to talk about that I don't think a lot of people um, have an understanding of it at all. And that's, I think that's because, I think it's something being revealed to us in the Word. Um, because it's very clear in there. But I never saw it and before and I've never heard of it. Um, I've heard certain things that are the same but uh, but different than, than the way I understand them, I guess. But what I'm talking about is in the last days, in the book of Revelation, in the last days, there's the whole world is lost at that time. I'll, t I'll talk about it like it's another time. I believe it's now, but I'm going to talk about it like it's another time to so that it makes more sense. Um, there's a time written about where uh, the whole world is deceived. The entire world is deceived. And they basically they have no uh, how do I say it even? God doesn't consider them because they're, they're just so wicked. They've because they're deceived, being deceived causes them to be wicked. But anyway, at that time, um, God gives power to his two witnesses and they give their testimony or they prophesy for uh, 1260 days. They got sealed in their forehead. Not the two, not the two witnesses, but uh, these twelve tri twelve tribes of twelve thousand each got sealed in their forehead with the seal of the living God. And what happens is they overcome this deception, this beast. They overcome him because of the blood of the Lamb and because of their testimony. And they are slain for the word of God and uh, sorry there's a little bit of traffic commotion um, and what happens is these people who are sealed in their foreheads uh, basically my understanding and this comes from mostly from the book of Isaiah um, chapter 43 specifically and 42 but uh, God is going to, at that time, at the end there, God is going to call his sons and daughters that are scattered all over the world. And they are going to uh, bring forth judgment to truth. They're going to declare truth. And uh, they're going to declare former things. Um, and they're going to show his praise. And still trying to refer to it as another time um, in, <clears throat> in Zechariah 13 it says that um, I, I think it even says every but but the prophets will be ashamed of their vision and their parents will tell them that they're speaking lies in the name of the Lord. And, uh, yeah. They're, all these prophets, um, well, the Lord spoke through all these prophets and, and told about this time. And the day of the Lord or whatever. And so, what I'm getting at is, in the end, there's a group of people of 144,000 people that will be people they'll be real people just like you and me and they God will pour his spirit out on them at 
well, on everybody. And they will start to prophesy. And they will start to um, dream dreams and have visions. And like Zechariah said, they'll be ashamed of their vision. Um, and uh, the reason why this happens is... I don't, I'm not trying to say that I understand it or comprehend it all. But I'm just telling you what I get when I'm reading the book of Revelation. And other places in the Bible too, but mostly Revelation. Uh, and Daniel, Daniel 7, the saints of the Most High, their people, the saints of the Most High take the dominion away from the one who took it by transgression. So they're taking it back and they hand it over to one like unto the Son of Man. And actually, um, they are one like unto the Son of Man. They are those who are with him. Uh, in Revelation 17, I think it's from Revelation 17. I don't remember which verse. It says, uh, and they that are with him, uh, with the, where was it there? I'm trying to remember who it was there, but it's talking about the Son of Man, or Jesus, uh, or the Lamb, I think is where, who it is there. Um, they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. In Revelation 1, through three, one, two, and three, uh, there are seven letters written to angels of seven churches um, in Asia, and uh, it's it's revealed right at the end of Revelation one that what is it? The, I'm not even gonna try to. <laughs> I'm gonna screw it up. Um, <clears throat> But what I'm saying is there's seven candlesticks and uh, the candlesticks are the letters are to the churches and the churches are the candlesticks if I'm if I'm remembering it right but that vibration I can't do anything about it I don't know where it is somewhere in the dash um so the base the point I want to make and and the thing that I think people aren't understanding, or many people aren't understanding, is that this group of people is actually going to be just regular people. And they're going to change. They're going to be changed. Because in uh, Isaiah 49, it talks about how God will uh, keep them hidden, even from themselves, like in his quiver. Um, I don't remember the exact wording of it and everything, but uh, he'll keep them hidden. Now, if you think about that, what does that mean? That it just means they'll be hidden. That no one, they won't understand it. Um, and I'm still referring to it as another time because I, I don't want to confuse um, by kind of mixing the two. But uh, basically. Those people, it says in Revelation 17 that the, those people that overcome the beast and his image, because remember the whole world is deceived at this time, or at that time, and, um, or either, uh, the whole world was deceived, except that angel came and sealed those 144,000 children of Israel in their foreheads, and then they overcame the beast. Otherwise, they were just as deceived as the rest of the world. So, it's not like they're smart. So, I just want to say that. But, um, so, what it is, is in Revelation 17, it says that they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. I used to read that as uh, that they're not in the book of life, and now I read it completely differently. That's not what it's saying. It's saying that their names were in there at the foundation of the world. It, that's all it was saying. It's not saying that other people aren't saved or or don't have their name in there. It's say, I used to think that because you could kind of get that from the wording. They didn't have their names in the book of life from the foundation of the world. Well, the book of life, um, and I might be skipping a couple words too, but, but the point is that the book of life is part of the sentence and from the foundation of the world is another entirely different part of that sentence like uh 
they can't be really put together um, because there's names in the book of life that aren't there from the foundation of the world is what I'm saying so this this confused me not confused me but it's something I didn't understand till recently but or till maybe a, a year or two ago or something but so what I'm saying is that there is going to be people in the world that have always been with Jesus and and that's hard to understand but people alive at the end are going to be part of his part of those they're going to be those people like he sent them there to save the world um same thing he did if you think about it he's and, and Isaiah 42 6 says this it says I the Lord have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee as a covenant for a light to the Gentiles there's another time there's another sacrifice going to be made at the end because the whole world is lost. So, just as um, much different, but the same, Jesus came to be a light into the world, in the world, and they, we killed him. Uh, he came and dwelt among us, and we we didn't recognize him and that's happening again right now that's what I believe and now I just mix the whole story up um, but it's uh, there's a light in the world right now a big light and it's one that people don't like people want to reject it people want to laugh at it and ridicule it but just like Jesus said uh, walk in the light while you have the light, lest darkness come upon you. Because that's that's going to happen the same way that it did with Jesus. In the Bible it says this. In Revelation this happens. Uh, the, the Paul talked about it non-stop. Uh, Jesus foretold it. Uh, all the prophets, I think all the prophets foretold it that one day people are going to ascend into heaven or in, up to the clouds God uh, angels what I'm getting at is that there's kind of like two times when something's going to happen in the end times where Jesus is going to be uh, involved big time and one of them is when uh, he comes to gather those people and then when people uh, say when Jesus returns when Jesus returns well when Jesus returns I've, I've learned it already happened in spirit or it is right now happening in spirit but when in the Bible in Revelation when uh, when the Son of Man returns and kills the beast, that's not just Jesus. That's those people, those 144,000 people that had to die in the world as a covenant. That's those people along with Jesus coming, returning to, to kill the beast. So, there's a lot of people that seem to not, you know, understand this, that those, there's 144,000 people that take a different, uh, uh, they, they're going to rule with a rod of iron for a thousand years here on the earth um, once this beast system is destroyed, or they're going to be, they're going to destroy it. They're going to return here and destroy it. Those people are going to be lifted up from the earth. And I believe that it's soon, but but keep me out of it. That 
that's that's written in in Revelation. It's written all over in the Bible. The stars are going to fall from the sky. And um, Revelation 11. Oh, that's what I didn't really finish that part. Um, we are his witnesses if we're declaring former things and claiming the name of God or the Son of God in this world. We are his witnesses. That's Isaiah 43. Uh, maybe it's verse 12. I don't remember. Right in there. Um, read Isaiah 42, verse 16. I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. Think about that. That's been happening right now. But, so, uh, this is a subject that um, it's found a few places in the Bible where it's very clear that these people in the end are going to be taken up and then they're going to be 42 months later they're going to be returning to uh, sorry they're going to be controlling or returning to uh, kill the beast so I guess what I'm saying is <laughs> these times are right here. So try to uh, not, don't deny what the word is saying and you know what I mean? It's a big deal. Alrighty, you guys have a good one.